Uh, let me go in buoy. Michelle, good morning. Hello, good morning. So you're calling from mine. You're not looking forward to seeing anybody. Yeah. <laughs> and <they're laughs> okay. Just the whole family up and down. Oh, just hate man. every single one of them. Uh, yeah, I'd just rather be alone. Okay. So <laughs> yeah. then, uh, see the question. Why don't we just stay at home then? Because it's going to be at my house. Oh, I'm not home, but everybody's going to be there. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Eating your yeah. food, sitting yeah. on your furniture, using your plumbing, Michelle. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now, which of the family coming over, which one's the most annoying? In-laws? Uh, That's a yes. My boyfriend's ex. Yeah. What? He will be there because Pause. they have kids. Oh. oh that's oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. I was like, why is that? Well, yeah. Michelle, I wish yep. you the best of luck. We'll be thinking of you. Yes. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Right, let's try again. Amy and Towson, good morning. Good morning. So, Amy, we actually LOL'd at your text yesterday about this, because we're yeah. talking about, like, who don't you want at Thanksgiving table. <laughs> Yours is your brother-in-law, and why is that? He's just a waste of skin and bones. He's yeah. always been, he's been a pain in my behind yeah. since the day I've met him. Yeah. And mm-hmm. he's just, was never disciplined as a kid, so he yeah. gets everything he wants. Mm. Um, yeah. And now it's brought into, he's a husband and a father, and yet. My niece is better behaved than he is. And it's just oh, sure. Oh now, Amy, does your uh, husband also know his brother's a pain in the ass? Um, so it's my sister. Got you. Um, and, mm-hmm. yeah, she knows. It's just that it's just in a bad situation where sure. um, she can't get out. Got you. Okay. All, that, so. all right. Oh, you ever oh, think I'm about sorry. spitting yeah. his food? Oh, constantly. I'm a, I am used to be a chemistry major, so I know how to, if I need to get rid of them, I know how to do it. Amy, <laughs> pause. Amy, Amy. Oh, don't Amy, hate Amy, here. Amy, Amy, <laughs> pause. Allegedly. Yeah. I don't think we can say that, Amy. Yeah. Unless, though, yeah, Amy, although it'd be cool to be a Netflix documentary, (laughs) I don't think it'd be. I was about to say that. Yeah. I'd be great on on TV. Yeah, but I don't think it'd be fun for us to be in a documentary because somebody's brother in law disappeared. It'd be fun. I'd be like, I don't know, her voice, I kind of believed what she was saying. No, that's a problem. Amy, I believe. You guys would be on Netflix, too. Yeah, no, that's great. As accomplices, Amy. That's fantastic. We're not accomplices. Amy, have a fun, safe Thanksgiving. Thank you for listening. Okay, well, bye. Bye. Why did she got the phone like that? Because then she was like, oh, I, I told him my plan. No, she probably, yeah, she's like, oh, he's, he's coming. Okay. Uh, let me go real quick to fake name Tyna. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Okay. You uh, don't want to see your spouse's sister. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to see my spouse's sister. This is Thanksgiving. Why is that? My elementary child had COVID, um, and she informed us that she received a side eye um, when we got back to the house after being in the emergency room and being sick and then turning out that it was COVID. We got a side eye from your sister-in-law? Yeah. Why would the sister-in-law give a side eye because the kid got sick? I think because no one wants to get sick with COVID during the holidays. Well, yeah, but it's it's hardly the kid's fault. Yeah. 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 But, you know, sometimes that's that's the type of stuff that happens. I yeah. think that as an adult, we forget that they're kids. Yeah. yeah. Now, has sister-in-law always been an idiot, or is this a recent phenomenon? Uh, my spouse knows about what happened, and he's like, I, he, he he knows about this type of stuff that happens. Sure. Behavior. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right. Fake name Tina. Thank you for calling. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Thanks. Bye. And let me go. Hold on. No voice change. Um, Shy, good morning. Good morning. Okay, so you are um, you are calling from mine as well. You <laughs> not looking forward to any of them coming? Nope, not at all. Not in the slightest. Okay. Mm-hmm. Any particular reason or just like is it in-laws and your family or how's the breakdown? So it's just my family. It's actually just my mom's side of the family. That's the only family that I have. Got you. And we have to have it at my house because I'm the only one who has a house at the moment. So everybody has to come to my house. So I was told that I am hosting. So I have to host Thanksgiving and Christmas this year. And I very much dislike all of my family members because they are very mean to me all the time. Ever since I was a little kid. So now I have to host the entire thing, both holidays, and I do not like the holidays to begin with. 
Damn. Oh. Mm. Well, that sucks, Shy. I, I can't imagine having to yeah. do that. That's a lot have upon your to plate, do too. Yeah, Oof, can I at least, so Shy? Sorry. Can I get you a coffee at least to hopefully make your day a little bit better? Oh, that would be lovely. I love listening to you guys. Oh, no, we love you. Hold on one you. second. Uh, Sauce, you were looking for anyone listening who uh, was getting plastic surgery during the holidays or for the holidays. Yeah. Let me go in dumb freeze. Chelsea, good morning. Good morning. You recently had surgery. What'd you get, sis? Yeah, I had a breast reduction. I went from a 34H to a 34D. Good and to you. give you a size of reference, well, a frame of reference, I am 5'10 and a size 4, so I was very disproportionate. <laughs> oh, wow. Wait, yeah, okay, so wow. I obviously, dudes, I don't understand sizing, but so, like, about, like, how much weight does that take off of your back? Oh, God. Um, probably, like, at least two, two, three pounds. Oh, God. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Good for you. All right. Yeah. yeah. And so, Truly, anyone listening who's ever thought about um, getting a reduction, I strongly recommend it. Yeah, and so how long were you out for, Chelsea? Like, how long for you go back to work and do, like, normal stuff? Uh, it wasn't terrible. I would say the first week was really brutal, and then after that, um, I went to work, actually, after a week. So it's not it's not cool. a terrible recovery. Okay. All right. Good for you, Good Chelsea. For you. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Yeah, thank you. Love you guys. Bye. Love you, too. Let me go in McLean. Jenny, Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, so you just got the tox done for the first time for the holidays. I did. I don't know if it really counts as plastic surgery, but, yeah, I got, uh, I've been saving up, and I finally got Botox. But uh, I must have forgotten that I'm terrified of needles because <laughs> oh. I passed out during the procedure. Oh, oh no. My God. You passed oh, out. God. Oh, my gosh. I did. I did. I was, like, fine for the first half of it. And then um, the woman doing it said, oh, don't worry about that popping sound you hear. I said, excuse me? She said, oh, yeah, that's just a needle penetrating your skin. Oh, you getting your forehead? That was it, yes. Yeah, it that sounds like it. crunchy. Oh, God, does it really? <laughs> that's yeah. so weird. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, wild. But I woke up with, like, 10 ice packs on and stuff. I was fine after that. And, I mean, my face looks great. So when yeah. it comes to things... Annoyed, nobody will know. That's All what's his, up. Yeah. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> the popping sound, though, sounds like a yeah, nightmare. Right? Oh, it's like, yeah. That's what it sounds like. That's, wait, do the answer? Yeah. <laughs> that's what it sounds like to yeah, me. With uh, your stomach. It's awful. It's uh, awful. Oh, <laughs> I've been getting it done like, in my forehead since I was probably 22, so I feel like I'm used to it. Yeah. Oh, used to it. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Jenny, you sound fantastic. Yeah. You so, sound like you yes. look great, Like, but we can tell. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Now that it's done, I'm great. <laughs> Hell yeah, girl. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. You too. Thanks. Bye. Let me go. Uh, Josephine, good morning. Good morning, guys. It's Josephine. I just had a tummy talk. Uh, Thursday is actually going to be a month, so I'm going away to my boyfriend's house, and I have to hide everything because I'm still wearing this very tight garment, and I, I'm walking with a hunchback, so I'm kind of dreading it. I really want to stay home in my PJs. Well, Good girl, for that, you. That's yeah. every day, though. Hell that's yeah, a that's big us. surgery. That is. Yes. I mean, I'm doing great because considering my age and I had a breast reduction two years ago, it's time to take care of me. Hell yes. yeah, dude. G.I. Yes. Josephine that. over here. All right. So what's the usual like recovery then for the tummy tuck? So usually it's about, I mean, it's a long process. By the time you start seeing results, it could be between four months to a year. You know, you start hating yourself before you see the great results. So I have a picture in the my bathroom window, Marilyn, I'm like, you just take your time, be patient, it's a process, and I have to talk to myself every single morning. But the healing process, it is absolutely wonderful. I was so scared to have it. I held off for 10 years, and I wish I would have done it 10 years ago. Well, oh, girl, that's awesome. That's awesome, Josephine. We appreciate you listening. Have a great day. You too. Have a nice Thanksgiving, guys. You Happy too. Thanksgiving. Thank you. Um, I don't dwell with needles. Yeah. Just in general. Yeah. So all that whole, like, I was getting a little bit of the heebs. The heebie-jeebies. Really? Yeah. I think you'd be fine. Well, I mean, well, I had the meningitis this year. Yeah. Flexed. <laughs> uh, I had to give, not give blood. They had to take my blood. Yes. And that was a nightmare because, and listen, I'm going to say it, and you're... If you're in MoCo, you're going to know exactly what hospital I'm talking about. It's the one that sucks. It's the one that, like, it's horrible service and it sucks. 
and you know exact you know which one it is, Sauce. <laughs> because even when I got that glass in my eye, I was like, oh, not going there. Even yes. that's the closest oh, to my apartment. And, and, and let's do a little, a little fun survey over text. If you're in MoCo, what hospital do you think I'm talking about? The one that sucks ass. Oh, so anyway, I get gosh. there and they say, don't drink water, don't eat food while you're waiting. I go, makes sense. Yeah. Of course, it's two hours later before they see me and they're trying to take my blood and they can't find a vein. And the lady goes, are you dehydrated? I go, I haven't had water yeah. in hours. Yes, I am. Thank oh you. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So they, they, <laughs> they did, like, they couldn't find it in one arm. So they go, well, it's got to be the other arm. Especially because wasn't worse. this after, like, a weekend that you were away, like, yes. celebrating um, Molly's yeah. birthday? So yeah. you were definitely dehydrated. Yes. Yeah. And they were like, they were like it's got to be COVID. I go, no, nah, it's definitely not that because mm-hmm. it's, it's my brain. Yeah. And then they like, well, we'll take the COVID test. Came back negative. And then it was, like, three pokes. They finally got it in my hand. And oh then, God. and then they didn't even have a room for me. They put me like in a hallway with like a curtain around. They gave me the IV, which is like the uh, meningitis IV of, I can't remember the hell it was, liquids to like hydrate and like yeah. pain stuff. Okay. They It was done and like I was in there for two hours and nobody was coming to see me. I took it out myself. Oh my God. Because it was probably empty for like an hour. And I was like, and I'm not going to. And you can gonna... like feel it. It's yeah. And so... like. Ooh. And the worst part was, like, I, I'm not a back sleeper, so I couldn't move because I had the IV in. So I'm like, I'm just going to take this out myself. Yeah. Uh, All the texts are. <laughs> the texts are spot on. Yeah. Spot on. I have no idea. You wouldn't think it'd be the worst hospital in no. the area. It just is. Yeah. It's just, yeah. I was about to drive, like, an extra 20 minutes. I was like, this one has amazing reviews. I'm yeah. going to go here. <laughs> yeah. Wow, every text is exactly Isn't the same. Isn't that surprising? Because even, Isn't like, surprising? the building itself looks fairly new. You know I mean, mean, I think it is. Where I live is fairly new. Doesn't mean it works. Honest to God, I'd rather go to the local Boy Scout troop and say, like, who has a first aid merit badge here? Yeah. Like, you guys are probably more inept to, like, oh, to, no. to train me than these people were. I just think that it must be, like, a management issue because it's, like, nurse. I know so many amazing nurses, but I, none of them I know work there. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I'm not saying there's bad nurses that work there. I'm just saying, like, there's got to be, like, a management issue with why that hospital is the way that it yeah. is. And, like, the ratings are bad on it, too. That, I know. Uh, Eric said, always go to Suburban. My sister works there. So there we go. Where's there Suburban? Go. I think that's, isn't that in the district, Eric? Isn't that, like, in, it, yeah. Th- okay. Eric, I can't hear you. <laughs> He's okay. typing. Yeah, so he, yeah, he was having a conversation with himself, but, yeah, yelling. so you go to Suburban. <laughs> yeah. And when you get to the front desk, you ask for Eric's sister. 